guys, it's Sean from Rainier Arms. Today we're gonna to cover another new products weekly. I'm gonna talk about some products that have just come into our website. Uh, first one I wanna talk about is the SIG MCX Rattler LT. So what's kind of cool about this is um, the LT Rattler has some upgrades done to it, some changes over the standard Rattler. Uh, and one of those changes is uh, from the start, the muzzle device is still kind of like your three prong muzzle device on the end. Uh, but it's got threads on it that are going to be uh, compatible with all of the SIG suppressors. Um, another big change or difference that you're going to have uh, is with the handguard itself. Instead of it being a little bit more rectangular, it's a little bit more slim lined and then a little bit longer because the barrel on this is an inch longer. It's 7.75 inches. So we're getting a little bit longer barrel. Uh, and then because of that, we got a little bit longer handguard, which is going to give us more M lock. So instead of the two M lock positions that we had on the left and the right, side we now have three uh, as well as some m locks down here on like the 45 degree angle so giving you just a little bit more attachment options a little bit of uh, the, some like weight reduction or skeletonized cuts on the top as well just kind of changing that look um, other big difference though is going to be the full ambidextrous controls so right up here on top we've got a full operational bolt release but it also works as a bolt catch so full functional ambidextrous, uh, as well as on the side. Obviously you're gonna have your mag magazine release, bolt catch bolt release on the side there. Um, so kind of really cool gun. This one's in 5.56, has just cool like aesthetics. It looks really um, just like they stick out, right? You kind of know when you've got a SIG MCX around, uh, there just isn't much else that looks like it, right? Folding stock, just a good, good little setup here. Um, some features that are the same that we're gonna have is a two position adjust a, a gas adjustment for the piston. So easy adjustment there. If you can get your fingers on it, there you go. Pretty quick and easy there. Still gonna have the same PDW grip. Uh, one other upgrade that is real nice. So the QD attachments on the standard Rattler, they were just the like built in with the, the lower. So not having the steel inserts would mean that if it wore down, then your sling QD wouldn't work anymore. So they ended up putting some steel inserts in there so you're gonna have a whole lot more durability and get a lot more use out of uh, utilizing a sling QD. So really cool gun. Um, oh, another really good feature is the trigger it has been upgraded. So it's more of a flat face, but it feels a lot more like a, kind of like a competition-esque trigger. So like really clean, it's got a really clean brake with a crisp, let me get this out of the way, reset and break. So honestly, I feel like it feels a lot better than the, the standard uh, MCX Rattler. So just cool, cool upgrades, nice things to see. All right, next product I wanna talk about, uh, EOTech. So we're adding three new lines of EOTech to our EOTech lines. So first one that we have is the XPS2-0. So this is uh, your standard EOTech holographic sight, but with a green reticle. And what's really nice about the XPS2 dash zeros is they are essentially the smallest, the lightest, um, and the, the shortest of the EOTech line. So really good if you're trying to keep that weight down on your, your rifle system, or if you're running it on a shotgun or something like that, uh, just a nice smaller compact. Uh, you can throw it on a riser if you really wanted to, but these ones are kind of designed to be like the smallest, shortest, and lightest, right? So the other aspects about the EOTechs here, I mean, if, you, if you're familiar with EOTech, you know that they're very, very durable. Uh, they are very hard to use. People absolutely love them. Uh, so they are a great product. These EOTechs here, the XPSs, are going to be running off a single 123A battery. Uh, so with the green dot being a little bit more uh, needing on the energy, you're going to get about 600 hours in room temperature uh, run time on this on kind of like a uh, standard setting uh, versus these two, which I'll talk about in a second, have a little bit longer uh, run time and that's because they're a red dot. So the other cool part about the EOTech is when you actually look at the reticle, what you're going to have is a small one MOA dot as well as a big 68 MOA dot. The nice part about that is one, it helps you kind of pick that reticle up a lot quicker when you're on like doing a presentation, um, but it also offers you multiple aiming points. So depending on what um, ammunition you're shooting and all that, 
In theory, it is at that uh, one MOA dot at 50 yards. It should also be about a 200 yard. But down at the bottom of that circle, that should be roughly your seven yard mark. So I know on the EOTEX that I run, I make sure that I go and I get all that kind of data and I understand. If I have a 36 yard zero, I know that at the bottom of that circle, I'm gonna use that for anything 10 yards and in or 15 yards and in as my aiming point, which just kind of gives you, you know, a little bit, it's just more tools, right? More tools in your tool belt. So uh, one thing that I've always appreciated about the reticle of the EOTech, I myself prefer the green. It's a lot brighter, easier to pick up. And um, one thing about the holographics, some people don't necessarily like the reticle as much because it doesn't seem as like, clean and crisp as you get with some of the other styles of reticles. Uh, but one thing that I can say with having an, an astigmatism, I actually kind of prefer having that slightly grainy aspect for whatever reason it just it doesn't catch my eye as much uh, versus some of the other optical or um, other reticles uh, will kind of get distorted and I kind of notice it a lot more so I don't know just a little feature that I've always liked about EOTech which has kind of led me to run them for quite a long time now so the other two that we have here um, they are also the XPS 2 dash zeros the big difference here is that one these are coming in two different body colors so we have OD green which is an awesome color as well as this gray, which looks pretty nice. Uh, but additionally, these are red dots rather than green. So that again is gonna give this about a thousand hours runtime on these ones uh, versus the 600 that you get when you're running a standard green dot. These are gonna have the same one MOA with the 68 MOA big circle. Uh, another kind of nice little aspect about that big circle is when you're running this on a shotgun, depending on what load you're running, it's a pretty good indication of your pattern spread, uh, depending on distances. So you can get an idea of a quick hasty reference of, you know, if, if that circle is over your target, you're going to be getting the hits that you need. So anyways, EOTech, awesome products. They make some just really durable, really easy to use, just awesome stuff. So jump on our website, take a look at what we have. Uh, definitely look at these colors because for a while it's mostly always been black but seeing these od green and the gray it's kind of a nice little change up there all right so the last product that i want to talk about today comes from sig mechanics and what this is is a full-on toolkit um, it is the m safety for the p320 so what it is is a toolkit that's going to allow you to convert your non-manual safety sig scu and convert it into a manual safety sig F fcu uh, the tools and everything that you are needing to do that are right here in this kit including um, getting provided with the carbide bits for the cutting that you're going to need to do and essentially what you end up having to do is modifying your fcu and it's pretty simple to do with the instructions and with this setup as well as they have the uh, proper templates that are going to help you pick the perfect spot on your frame to cut out that little section for that manual safety so the cutout, the pattern and all that is gonna follow that M17, M18 platform layout. So you can, the other nice part about it is that you can convert it to manual safety and you can very easily take that manual safety off. So you can swap it back and forth if you want to for whatever reason, if you have a reason for that, but you are able to, which is pretty cool. Uh, you'll still have to get the safety selector pieces, but again, you can take your FCU that is not manual safety and convert it to a manual safety. If that's something that you want to do, so if you're interested in making your non-manual safety into a manual safety, jump on the website, check this out. There is some tutorial videos that make it um, very clear how easy it is to do. It is something that you can do on your own. So jump on the website, check it out, uh, and get yourself one if you're interested in it. Hey guys, thanks for spending some time with us on this new product weekly video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please put them down in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. And uh, let us know if there's anything that you would like us to bring in or anything that you would like us to talk about. We're open to doing some how-tos and some tutorial videos on any of these products that we are talking about. So definitely let us know if that's something you're into. We'll see you in the next one.